Good evening, you're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. We'll start with the headlines. The Sultanate strongly condemns the terrorist blast which occurred in Manama, Baghdad and Istanbul. Heads of the municipal councils and the governorates of the Sultanate take the oath. The total general expenditure of the state's general budget 2017 is estimated as 11.7 billion riyals. And the Sultanate starts reducing its oil production to reach 970,000 barrels per day. Those are the headlines and now for the news in details. The Sultanate strongly condemned the terrorist blast which occurred in Manama in the Kingdom of Bahrain, the Iraqi capital Baghdad and Istanbul city in Turkey, said a statement issued by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs today. The malicious blast which are rejected by all religions and human norms resulted in the death and injury of many innocent people. While the Sultanate affirmed in the statement its permanent stand with brothers and friends against terrorism, it renewed its firm refusal of all forms and types of terrorism anytime and anywhere. The Sultanate's government expressed sincere condolences to the governments of the Kingdom of Bahrain, Iraq and Turkey and families of the victims and wishes a speedy recovery for all injured. His Excellency Engineer Mohsen bin Mohammed bin Ali Sheikh, Chairman of Muscat Municipality, Head of the Second Term of the Municipal Council in the Governorate of Muscat, took oath today before His Excellency Sayyid Khalid bin Hilal bin Saud al-Busaidi, Minister of the Diwan of the Royal Court. Governors, heads of the municipal councils and the governorates today took oath before His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal Busaidi, Minister of Interior. The governors who took oath were His Excellency Sheikh Yahya bin Hamoud al Ma'mari, Governor of North al Sharqiyya, His Excellency Sayyid Khalifa bin al Mardas al Busaidi, Governor of Misandam, His Excellency Sayyid Ibrahim bin Saeed al Busaidi, Governor of Al Buraimi. His Excellency Dr. Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad al Saadi, Governor of Al Dakhiliya. His Excellency Sheikh Mohanna bin Saif Al Lamki, Governor of North Al Batana. His Excellency Sheikh Hilal bin Saeed Al Hajri, Governor of South Al Batana. And His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Mustahil Shamas, Governor of South Al Sharqiyya. His Excellency Sheikh Saeed bin Hamir bin Muhammad Al Shahi, Governor of Al Tahira. And His Excellency Sheikh Ma'bad bin Muhammad Al Yaqubi, Governor of Al Wusta. His Excellency Sayyid Hamoud bin Faisal Busaidi, the Minister of Interior, met the governors and thanked them for their appreciated efforts made during the first term of the Municipal Council. He also asked them to convey his thanks and appreciation to outgoing members of the Municipal Council, valuing their efforts exerted during their membership at the Council. His Excellency wished the governors and the current members of the Municipal Council success in carrying out their roles. He also urged all to exert further effort in serving the country and the citizens. His Excellency the Minister of Interior also met the heads and members of the main committee of the Municipal Council's second term election. During the meeting, he expressed his gratitude to them for their efforts exerted to make the election process successful. His Excellency Sheikh Salem bin Ufayt al-Shamfari, head of the Far Municipality, head of the second term of the Municipal Council in the government of the Far, took oath today before His Excellency Sayyid Mohammed bin Sultan al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of the Far. The total estimated revenue for the state's general budget for 2017 amounted to 8.7 billion Omani rials, with an increase of 18% compared to anticipated actual revenues for 2016. These consist of oil and gas revenues of 6.11 billion rials, representing 70% of the total revenue. Non-oil revenues are estimated around 2.59 billion Omani rials, that is 30% of the total revenue. The budget was est estimated on the basis of 45 US dollars oil price per barrel. 
The total general expenditure was estimated as 11.7 billion rials, with a decrease of 200 million Amani rials compared to the estimated expenditure in 2016. The preparation of revenue estimates has taken into consideration the following. The Sultanate's commitment to cut oil production with, in line with OPEC's decision to reduce production volumes. Commencement of production of Khazan Makaram gas field by fourth quarter of 2017. The budget deficit is estimated at about 3 billion rials, that is 35% of total revenue and 12% of gross domestic product, or GDP. Despite the fact that deficit to GDP ratio is considered low and can be financed by global debt markets, reducing deficit is one of the priorities specified by the budget due to deficit accumulation. Around 2.5 billion Oman rials of 2017 projected deficit will be financed by external and domestic borrowing. The rest of the deficit, estimated nearly at 500 million Oman rials, will be covered by drawing on reserves. The Sultanate has made remarkable achievements in areas such as health, education, basic services and infrastructure, which uplifted the citizens' standards of living to a higher level. The allocation approved for these sectors amounted to about 2.686 million Romani reals, which is 23% of the overall spending. The overall framework of 2017's budget comes in line with the approach adopted in the last two years, such as approach aims at rationalizing spending and enhancing its efficiencies, as well as keeping the public spending within sustainable levels, keep reviewing non-oil revenue in order to raise its contribution to the aggregate revenues and to reduce dependency on oil. Moreover, utilize any resultant increase to oil revenue in financing fiscal deficit and enhancing government reserves. The physical consolidation measures undertaken by the government since 2015 were gradual so as to minimize its implication on economic growth and employment. Spending cuts reflected improvement in efficiency, have been confined to areas which do not affect salaries and allowances of government employees. In addition to government services and main activities, which are carried out by the government units for the society as well. Raising the efficiency of administrative apparatus by expanding the use of technologies in government transactions and operations giving priority to implementation of necessary projects that serve the economic and social objectives, promoting the efficiency of state-owned enterprises in order to enhance their contribution to the economy and stressing the importance of implementing sound corporate governance, reviewing and rationalizing government subsidies in order to direct such subsidies to needy citizens. However, the subsidies will be cut gradually. Engaging the private sector in implementing and managing some projects, facilities and activities and the purpose is to ease the burden on the budget and maintain good levels of investment that help to spur economic growth. The budget also accorded utmost importance to the implementation of various planned projects such as water supply networks, water sewage and roads. The government seeks to finance these projects by borrowing from domestic and international institutions. And still to come in our news bulletin. Under the theme, My Life Comes First, a seminar on narcotics and its impact on the society is held in the Wilaya of Ibra. Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. The Sultanate started the reduction of its oil production as to reach 970,000 barrels per day compared to more than 1 million barrels per day during the last period. This came as part of the Sultanate's commitment to the announced agreement among oil producers from inside and outside OPEC with regard to reducing production and return balance to oil prices. The Sultanate informed its clients that it will reduce the contracted quantities for them as per determined period contracts by 5% in March. Worth more than 3.755 million, the Ministry of Manpower and Information Technology Authority, the ITA, today signed a contract with Nortal for the development of work licensing systems for two years with additional three years of technical follow-up and maintenance. The agreement was signed by Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser al-Bakri, Minister of Manpower, and Dr. Salim bin Sultan Rozaiqi, Chief Executive Officer of ITA, and Preet Almay, Chief Executive Officer of Nortal of Estonia, the contractor for the project. 
The project aims at developing an integrated framework that uses the best information technology and tools to regularize the labor market in the Sultanate. The project is inspired from the successful experience in developing the national development needs, increasing global competitiveness indicators, meeting the needs of economic growth and the labor market, and achieving the national development goals. The Minister of Manpower said that the agreement complements the e-government initiative implemented by the ministry and other ministries and public organizations to turn e-government into reality. At a cost of around 3 million Omani reals, the agreement of the second phase of water park project in the Wilaya of Salala were signed. The project is constructed at an area of 35,000 square meters and will be implemented and run by Wasl Investment and Development Company. The project will be an added value to the tourism sector in the Sultanate. And according to the agreement, 50,000 square meters will be invested to build a five-star hotel, mall, and a number of international restaurants. The agreements were signed by His Excellency Mohammed bin Sultan al Busayi, the Minister of State and Governor of Lufar. The Board of Directors of the Capital Market Authority agreed to cancel the registration of three working companies in the field of securities. The decision came as per the request of the Board of these companies, and these companies were licensed to practice various activities in the market. Thus, the number of licensed companies in the field of securities reduced in Muscat Securities Market to 17 companies. Under the theme Together Against Blackmailing, activities of the national camp campaign on spreading awareness about blackmailing hazards continue in various governorates of the Sultanate. The campaign targets school students who became a victim of blackmailing due to misuse of social media network. The campaign organized by Asma bint Yazid Secondary School in the Wilaya of Rostaq and in cooperation with bodies concerned aims at raising awareness about the safe use of social media. Royal Oman Police presented a work paper which showed statistics about blackmailing victims in the Sultanate and the campaign called upon parents to advise their children and guide them towards the positive use of social media and technology. Under the theme My Life Comes First, a seminar was held in the Wilaya of Ibra on narcotics and its impact on the society. The event was organized by the Director General of Health Services. It shed light on the health and social dangers of narcotics on the individual, and the seminar also stressed the importance of the role of the family and the entire society in spreading awareness on the subject. It also affirmed the need to establish good coordination among all health, social and security bodies to combat narcotics. Jibreen Fort in Bahla, in the Governorate of Dakhiliya, witnessed the flow of visitors from inside and outside the Sultanate. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Jibreen Fort in the Governorate of Dakhiliya witnessed a tourist movement visiting the fort. There were more than 60,000 tourists coming from inside and outside the Sultanate toured the fort. This fort, which was built 325 years ago at the time of Imam Bil Arab bin Sultan al Yarbi, has a unique architecture. Witnessed in recent years the introduction of automated guide services that has contributed so much in offering integrated packages of information for visitors about the history of the fort and its surroundings. I love this machine that gives me opportunity to learn more. This place is very beautiful and it has a unique architecture. It has a writing scripture of over 300 years. The amazing atmosphere here at the fort gives a wide picture about the Omani history together with a view of mountainous allows a spectacular feeling that one would appreciate visiting such places. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanate of Oman Television. And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate. Clear skies will prevail over most of the governorates with chances of low clouds and fog early morning and late at night over the governorates of Wusta, Zahra and Musandam. Winds will be east to southeasterly light to moderate. Seas will be slight to the maximum wave height of 1.25 meters.
This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Sultanate strongly condemns the terrorist blast which occurred in Manama, Baghdad and Istanbul. Heads of the municipal councils and the governorates of the Sultanate take the oath. The total general expenditure for the state's general budget 2017 is estimated as 11.7 billion Omani riyals. And the Sultanate starts reducing its oil production to reach 970,000 barrels per day. With that, we come to an end to tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, good night.